In tonight's battle, Vida, aka Drago, takes on Eyal, the Egyptian prince, in a three-round contest at Sea Lounge. Each round is a challenge carefully designed to test a player's ability to seduce women in a real-life battlefield. The cameras are hidden, the women are real, and the game is on. Across town at Kai Lounge, our expert panel of pickup commentators with perspectives descending from the four corners of the male psyche. There's Alan, the cold, calculated master of pickup analysis, Peaches, an ex all star jock inspired seduction specialist, Sheldon, the mysteriously coy and unorthodox philosopher, and Chris, a hopelessly romantic man of integrity. Together, they will closely critique each player's performance and crown a single champion. The prize, a limo escort to an epic VIP event where the champion and his closest friends will enjoy full bottle service and the company of our sexy VIP girls. Tonight, our champion will celebrate at the Toronto Island party. Let's take a closer look at tonight's players. Up first, Eyal, the Egyptian prince. Hi, I'm Eyal Simko and welcome to the love lounge. We got the hookah. If you don't know what a hookah is, this is a piece of smoke flavored tobacco out of it. This is the music center. That's how we roll, baby. If you want success, this is it right here. You know, I do a little fuck, 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 fuck. Oh yeah, I'm coming through, ladies. I'm a player because I'm just like a chameleon. I'll just get into any environment, blend right in, and make the best of the situation. You gotta pick your targets. Once you pick your target, confidence, you gotta walk in there exuberated, exuberated positive energy. I got the key, baby, I'm locking it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nice work with the bongos. Hopefully you can keep a beat tonight at the club. <laughs> you know what I mean? I especially like the love lounge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the fact that those look like his grandma's hand-me-downs. Yeah. yeah, I like he's a little bit mysterious, he's worldly. You know, I think ladies will be able to dig that. He's got that whole 70s beatnik flower child thing going on. The girls <laughs> might find it funky. Well, let's find out if Vida's got something uh, different to offer. And now, Vida, a.k.a. Drago. Hi, my name's Vida. This is my domain, the gym. Let's go hit the weights. When you work out, wear a nice tight shirt, shows the arms, look big, girls be like, wow, it's looking pretty sexy. In hockey, been winning championships. Now, I like to win the hearts of girls. I just love getting new numbers, going from one girl to the next, because this makes me feel like a champion. I don't like to take girls home. I have secluded park that I usually bring them for the first few times. It's the greatest place to go. When girls see me, they see my height, they see my looks, and then the best part is, my personality and that's what they love. It is game time tonight. I'm gonna wheel some girls tonight and it's gonna be fun. He's a big man with a deep voice and these are, you know, two classic characteristics of what women want to see in a man. You know, it's quite clear to see that he's an alpha male. However, there's a couple more components that go along with being an alpha male. One of them being intelligence. <laughs> and I hope to God that he, he showcases that today. Well, let's find out. Coming up after the break. Look at that. You know what? It's my favorite color. It's my favorite color. You know what? Since I was seven years old, it's my favorite color. <laughs> this guy is yeah. pulling everything out of his pickle trunk here. <laughs> Guys, uh, this game's The Narcissist, and I love this game because I love myself. <laughs> I know you love this game, Alan, because you would probably do very well at it. Speaking about yourself for three minutes and holding the attention without letting the girl talk, I think this is a great way to see if these guys can actually put together a sentence. Well, let's see if this mouth breather, uh, Vida, can uh, <laughs> breathe enough things out of his mouth to make, yeah. make this happen. In round one, each player has three minutes to get a woman's phone number, but the player may only talk about himself and can never let the woman speak. Do you like hockey players? 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 Do you more is said than done. <laughs> the way this guy is going, he's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, my trainer, I don't even know where he is. He's my cousin as well. He's, uh, he's here. All I do is work out with him, and I work at a hockey school. So I didn't really have much time. But would it be all right if I uh, asked her a number and I give you a call sometime so we can talk? Cause I can't really talk to her. It's too loud. 
So I think you're I think you're really beautiful, so is that okay? Okay, yes, I'll do it. Okay. I don't smoke. I'm an athlete. Are you, come on, come on. I think uh, when he makes that phone call, uh, there's gonna be a lot of awkward silences on it. I'll write it down for you. Hi, your name, everything. I'll give you a call for sure. Wait, maybe you can come out to see uh, one of my hockey games. That'd be great. I'll score you a goal. Sure. Yeah? I'm not really into hockey, but whatever. Okay, that's a great first date. Somebody who hasn't even heard of hockey. Yeah, you can come out and watch me. You know, you know, why don't you just have a date with this mirror and just <laughs> cut me out of the picture? Well, let's take a look at AL and see what he's got. Excuse me, why do you look so bored? You're tired. Well, you know what, honestly, can I tell you something? Honestly, I live downtown. I get in a taxi cab. I get in this taxi cab, this cab breaks down. Can you believe that? Anyways, it breaks down. This guy asks me to push his cab away from traffic. It just it doesn't matter. It just uh, anyways. It... <laughs> the talented Mr. Ripley, huh? Yeah. Let me tell you something though. Honestly, I was standing in the club right there, you know, just at the patio, and I'm I'm noticing you, and I'm like, I love your freaking shirt. Look, we match. Look at that. Look at that. You know what? It's my favorite color. It's my favorite color. You know what? Since I was seven years old, it's my favorite color. <laughs> this guy is yeah. pulling everything out of his tickle trunk here. <laughs> <laughs> he's that salesman that you end up buying whatever they're selling because yeah. they're so relentless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is great. Me, I'm out. Listen, realistically, I really don't want to stay here anymore. You know what I mean? But honestly, I don't want to leave without your number. I want to call you up. I want to take you out for dinner. You know? schmooze a little bit, get to know you, because you seem like a really beautiful person, and I bet you're even more beautiful inside. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're even more beautiful inside. <laughs> what do you say? Give me those 10 magical numbers, and I promise you'll have a great night. Awesome. I'm going to say something before anyone else notices. He has no idea what her name is. <laughs> Here comes the awkward moment, I guarantee it. 5005. Zero, zero, five. All right. And sorry, I don't even, well, what's your name? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if it wasn't yeah. for cell phone technology, there'd be a lot of girls out there with nameless faces. <laughs> I, I, didn't even, I, well, I wasn't even paying attention. Sure. Yeah, it's cool. You know, I was totally, I'm telling you, I'm like, honestly, like, I tried so hard coming to this place, nothing happened. You know why you're honestly, you know why you're honestly a sweet girl, you know, Sarah, I'll give you a shout. We'll definitely go out, you know. What do you like? You like to eat meat? No, I love to eat meat. Shrimp, my favorite. You know, I heard, like, I know a lot of good places with shrimp, seafood. Amazing, man. Now he's just rubbing it in. <laughs> you're, 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 honestly, you're an amazing girl. Again, what's your name? I forget. Come on, man, Sarah. Don't Honestly, worry. your beauty is just so like. I, I think AL's found his, his profession. <laughs> yes. God given talent, pressure sales. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, I play the Egyptian bongo, you know, so I'll, gi I'll give you some beats, baby. I'll give you some beats. If you can belly dance for me, you will get the beat. High five. Give me a kiss. Add a girl. I'll see you later on. I'm going to give you a shout. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> he just mentally had a cigarette there. Yeah, <laughs> <literally. laughs> yeah. You gotta love that, because he sprinted past the finish line. It was clinical. Yeah. If you could only stamp the screen, it would say satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. For game one AL, let's, let's rock it to the game two. Coming up after the break. Guys, this game's reverse gold digger. You know, it's gonna be tough for Mark because this game requires intelligence, and I'm hoping that most of the players utilize reverse psychology. And psychology, Mark, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, let's find out. In this round, each player has five minutes to get a woman to buy him a drink. Let's see how generous the ladies are feeling tonight, fellas. You want me to give you a piggyback? Don't cost you a drink, though. Don't cost you a drink, though. Can you make out with this beautiful girl? I'll give you a kiss. How about that? I piggyback you if you kiss. How about that? There you go. Get on my shoulders. Let's go. You know what I like about this girl? She's inventive. You know what I mean? She's a problem solver. Nice mount. I'll come here and give you a kiss. 
Why is that it? <laughs> wow. Yep. She came back for seconds on that, eh? Definitely. Did he do anything for this? Or did yeah. this just no, fall out of the sky? Sometimes there's no science. Uh, He's just no. big and good looking. You know yeah. what? And that worked. He just said, I'm going to stand here and be the cream in this Oreo cookie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it right? You can get me a drink, do I was very impressed by that. Yeah. This guy's a triple threat. Piggyback, make out, drink bot for yes. him. What else can you ask for? Uh, I think his social value is high right now in the bar, yeah. and I think it can only go up from here, hopefully. He blew my expectations out of the water. Uh, I think it was a good thing that he didn't have to do a lot of talking. Yeah. Wait a minute, what did he blow of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Your expectations, sorry. Well, let's find out if Ayal can do a better job. The high water mark has been set. How you doing? You look like you're on a search for something. Good time. A good time? Well, you found the right guy. What's your name? My name is Amanda. Amanda? Amanda. Nice to meet you, Ayal. Where are you drinking? You, you know what? This is exactly what I was about to offer you. I have, I have a little proposition for you. Are you ready to hear it? Maybe. All right. I take you out for dinner, all right? If you get me a shot right now. Up until now, I was going to call nickname this guy the professor. Oh, but uh, now I'm about to nickname this girl Sergeant Slaughter because <laughs> I don't think this is going to go well. So right now, I think his head's so far up his own ass, he could probably chew his mm -hmm. food twice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you what? I'm serious. Are you, what? Are you, you know what? Me? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. What's wrong with you? I'll tell you something. Are you crazy? You know what? People go to clubs. Are you crazy? You're a man. You're a man. You know. Go I can't even hear you. Just go screaming. I'm not hustling. I'm not hustling. You're a man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hold on. She was so eager to diss him that she said to her friend, look, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Hold on, let me hear you out. You're a man? A man's never supposed right, to have anything from a woman. Point, right? Have a good okay, night. bye. Amanda, <laughs> shy girl. He, he stayed very calm in, in, in the fire. <laughs> he got torn apart, <laughs> limb by limb. <laughs> <laughs> he was surrounded by a pack of rabid dogs, and he, yes. just, he didn't even do anything. He didn't even fight back. I he, thought he was going to try and save that. He just stayed very uh, calm, and I thought maybe he was going to do something to pull it out. You yeah. know what? His Zen, his Zen Buddhism did not help it, him. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> at all. He's got to go home and smoke that uh, peace pipe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's a clear winner for Mark. Exactly. Let's find out what's going to happen at the end of the show, because uh, it's anyone's game right now. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Coming up after the break. What do you think you're doing here? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's great. Let's get a moment's rest. No. Guys, this is uh, this is still anyone's game. It's it's one one. We're going to the bottom of the ninth, and uh, this guy's about to get caught red-handed. <laughs> and I think I'll be able to speak from experience on this game. Yeah, there was a proverb that said, uh, "Smooth seas do not make skillful sailors." So. Yeah. Uh, these guys are going to get a rough sea, and we're going to see what kind of skill they can bring well, out. Yes. Hopefully, they they're going to be the Mayflower and not the Titanic. You know? <laughs> In round three, each player has three minutes to obtain a woman's phone number. What the players don't know is that at the critical point of seduction, they will be rudely interrupted by an angry girlfriend. Let's see how our players react in the face of sudden confrontation. I noticed you girls a while ago. I, been, I had to work up some courage to talk to you. <laughs> I get a little nervous. Oh, I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie. Is that your girlfriend? I don't think so. Is that your girlfriend? No, I have no, I have no idea. He has no idea if that's his girlfriend or not. <laughs> right okay. now, it's just, it's a blind feeding frenzy, and this guy seems to be the main course right here. Oh, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You made out with a girl over there? Definitely not. <laughs> can, can, we, can we cut to the uh, replay? If that, if that was indeed a kiss on the cheek? Yeah. Uh, that was a makeup. Yeah, no, that was a full on makeup. Because there. these girls aren't even our plants. These are just jealous lovers. <laughs> <laughs> you know when people pay you, you kiss them? No, no, no. Guys, hold up. Here comes our girl. It was, um, I don't know. They were like, it's okay if I jump on your what back? What are you doing here? Pardon? What do you think you're doing here? 
you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's great. This is going to move us around. Yeah. Tim, look at his face. Look at that look on his face. He is bewildered. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. And I know that's how he usually looks. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, he's bewildered. It's a little like, like, yeah. accentuated. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never seen you in my life. Ladies, I swear in my life, I've never seen you. I've never seen her in my life. Like that. I don't know who she is. You, you don't I, know I, I swear in my life. Like that. You know what you do here? And this is again classic, classic Sheldon. Flip the script yeah. right now. Yeah. Say, you know what? You're right. I did kiss those two girls, and that's my ex girlfriend. Yeah. Yep, be wrong and strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you swear... want to buy, you grab our asses? What's wrong with you? No, I didn't grab your ass. What? You know I didn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what are we clapping for? Oh, what did we just, just clap for? <laughs> I went like that. Play every girl in here? No, I don't play anybody. Can I buy you a drink? Okay, Both yeah. of you to make up? I swear to God, I don't know who they are. What drinks would you like? Just Pardon? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'll give you a couple shots. Drinks? I think he's too far gone here. Yeah, I think these girls have a firm grip on reality. Yeah. Well, let's see if he can switch it around and get them to get a firm grip on something else. We drink champagne. You want a couple of champagne? Claire. Maybe you should be a hockey agent because at this point it's become a negotiation. Yeah. Exactly. Can you bring it back here? Pardon? Bring it back here. Why don't you come with me? Come. We're gonna stay here. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like the arbitration here led to a lockout. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no season. No, no games played. <laughs> well, guys, you know what? I'm going to say on that note, I'm going to say we've seen enough. Yes. Let's take a look and see what AL can do. <laughs> Anybody speak Hebrew here? Hello. Where are you? Aside from Israel, where are you from in Toronto? Like in Toronto. I actually think I have you on my MSN. You have me on your MSN? I'm not even joking around. Hey, how are you guys? I'm good. I love it. Oh, man. Well, he's looking to trade up. Is he going to jump ship here or what? Is that from That's right. What's your name? If this guy was any smoother, he would be synthetic oil. <laughs> Tasha, nice to meet you. Are you guys having a good time? Well, that's good. Let me ask you a theoretical question here. Do you believe that it all starts off with a kid? Okay. Think about it. You know, you're going on a date. You're, yeah. you're, you're hanging out with this guy. All of a sudden, everything is working. Everything is good. Guys, there's hold up. Here comes our girl. There's physical attraction there. He pulls the move. You can't be serious. You can't act like you don't know me. I just walk you, you away know, and you're like, whatever, is. carry on with the new girl it's to pick up. Let me point out that hand on the hip. Oh, oh <laughs> look at the, wow. Look at yes. the, look at the curve of the back and look at the crick of the neck. <laughs> like, you know what she's thinking? <laughs> I stole a fair and square from those other two. I love girls in competition. This is Awesome. Yes. We might see a cat fight here. <laughs> Chew the mud. <laughs> Listen, this guy is nothing. Hey, he came up to us. Yeah, well, right. you need to leave him because this is nothing. Listen, not you need to leave. Whoa! Did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> she goes, no, we're not leaving. Did she say <laughs> that? Oh, yeah, she did. Oh. Listen, you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night. Great night. You too. Okay, Honestly, done. let me tell you something. Did you have a bad ending? Anyways, let's forget about her. Back to this kissing thing. Okay, back to this kissing thing. So are, are, you, are you trying to imply that you want to kiss me or something? I want to kiss you. Where? I'll tell you why. Right there. Well, you know what? I want to, I want to like, taste that. Right there. A taste test? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah, let me work it out. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. what this show is yeah. all about. There you go. That was awesome. <laughs> I got, I got, I got a, but see, I, I got a taste of that, but you, you gotta get a taste of this. Well, you know I got what? something wrong. I, I think it's good. Pretty good. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Not bad. How was mine? You are like magnificent, like beautiful, and I'm gonna have to get your number, and then we're gonna have to go out. I can have your number. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Hey, 
Al was impressive, impressive. and he was he was the man in the clutch. He was an impressive gymnast. Yeah. He worked the parallel bars <laughs> and he stuck the finish. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It was yeah. great. I think he's gonna show these girls the pommel horse a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything that upsets me about this is the fact that uh, she's no longer on the market. <laughs> no matter what happened, he always stayed calm and stayed focused on his goal. Yeah. I loved it. Listen, let's not take anything away from uh, Vidal. At one point, he was getting piggybacked from one girl, yes. making yes. out with yeah. another girl and drinking free drinks all night. And if that's my lot in life, yeah. uh, I think I can live like that too. You know what I mean? Had a great showing. But AL, I mean, I think I think Vida was up against it tonight. This kid, this kid is cold-blooded. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, he showed it tonight. Guys, give him a last applause. Yeah. AL is our winner tonight. Congratulations, E.L. the Egyptian Prince.